Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you, 29 May. Put in a shift yesterday. Bit of a late start today. Uh, themes are the same. Uh, you want to be core short stocks. You're not buying here. We're not trading this anymore. We're just core short. Uh, we think this is going to break 27.76 in the next couple of days. NASDAQ, same deal. Um, core short. This is 71.64 is your 200 day. This is uh, these are important numbers for today and tomorrow. Uh, so let's see what happens with that. We like being short dollar yen. We printed a 15 low last night. This is the third time 15 is printed. 14th of May, 15th of May, now today, through 15 is important, but through the figure is even more important. Should be congestion at the figure, um, and you're going to need stocks to be getting smashed uh, for this to work. So, core short, I don't think this is going to get back above 50, so you just want to kind of be core short dollar yen. Um, between 30 and 40 is probably a good sell. It's trading at 30 now. What else? Bank of Canada today. We're going to smoke this thing through 134.30. We're a little bit emotional about this dollar Canada. We don't understand why it's here. The data has been very good. I know it's risk off and I know oil um, has been smacked upside the head, but any kind of more hawkish than people are expecting out of dollar cad we will be getting short through 134.30 looking forward uh, to that 4 p.m. today we'll see what they say core short euro yen also in play um, very painful yesterday that move up to 64 and then back down and then fucking 10 p.m. this thing goes really you know I mean, this is FX, but, you know, a cool 17 hours after I start my day, um, I'm selling Euro-Yen and managing positions, and my, my. Uh, but core short Euro-Yen, we're through this uh, little trend line, double bottom, whatever you want to call it. Uh, core short Euro-Yen, we're sort of angry at this position, so be careful, uh following our input on this but we're just going to kill this fucker um, back above 30 now shouldn't shouldn't get back back above there uh, the yanks are our are, are core short Aussie yen it's kind of the same position a couple of dojis here in a row this gets real real interesting um, below 7540 it's been delaying a bit here um, but this eventually will, will come home to roost, I think, and just follow equities. Uh, but be careful with your risk now, right? Euro yen, dollar yen, Aussie yen, it's all kind of the same trade. So um, just uh, beware of your VAR value at risk on the day. Trade of the week, gold, another pain in the ass. Holy cow. Uh, down to 75 yesterday. We talked about it on the video. Your stop has to be below 70. We actually got a better average out of all that nonsense yesterday. But I can say it doesn't look super bullish. Uh, that's a very bearish bar. Closed uh, practically engulfed, closed below the lows. One thing we do know that there, there will be stops at 1287 now. Um, so if you want to be conservative or you got stopped out yesterday, uh, you want to buy through 1287, we will be adding through 1287 and then we will add again through this trend line which comes in at 94 now. So this is the trade of the week. Crappy little start to it, but let's see what happens. The story is collaborating. Um, gold should go higher now. What else? Euro. This looks pretty bad, but we don't like being short this anymore. Um, we do think there's going to be sort of a migration out of the U.S. dollar when when the S&P and Nasdaq get through the 200-day. 
So be careful being short euro. Obviously through uh, 1107, it, this changes the tune a bit. Then you kind of have to be short. Uh, but uh, we think this double bottom is actually going to hold, and we're going to be buying euros at 112.66, I think, before we're going to be selling them down through 111.10. But no, no euro trade today. Our focus is on yen crosses, dollar yen, and more importantly, equity indexes. BTPs, uh, you can resell this thing uh, at the open in nine minutes. The gap close is 94. Um, this looks bad indecision yesterday because it's BTPs we'll probably trade up a little higher screw some people but um, the negative news flow out of Italy hasn't changed this is still a sell alright I've said enough we're late um, good luck today people make some dough you deserve it and I will talk to you tomorrow